Hey everyone, Anthony here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the white outline glowing effect that you see in thumbnails all across YouTube. You know what I'm talking about. In fact, if we head on over to the trending page real quick, I can almost guarantee that we'll find at least two examples. Okay, so right here, you can see that this person has like a white glow around them. Uh, we've got Try Guys, uh, you see that white outline. Stuntman React, you've got a yellow outline. Uh, glowing effect right there. Um, but yeah, the point is, it's a really popular effect, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it. So hopping into Photoshop, here's the result that we're going for, and here's a blank canvas, so let's get to work. First thing I'm going to want to do, obviously, is drag in my image. I'm going to want to resize it to fit the canvas, uh, make sure it's fairly well composed. Alright, so once that's positioned and sized correctly, you hit this check mark right here. And the next step is to go over here and click on the quick selection tool. Make sure this is selected with a little plus symbol. And then it's as easy as painting over the subject you want outlined. Generally, as long as your subject is well lit and the edges are well defined, this doesn't take too long. Sometimes you will have to refine it just a little bit. For example, right here, it picked up the light. So let's grab this little minus tool and just brush that away. Okay, so now I am selected. Then what I'm going to want to do is right click and hit select and mask. So you can basically just make sure that you've selected everything correctly. Uh, sometimes, for example, uh, it'll accidentally pick up something in the background and you won't notice uh, right away. So this is just a generally good practice. You've got a bunch of tools over here that you can use to kind of smooth, smooth out your selection and make sure it's as nice and clean looking as possible. Once you're happy with your selection, you're just gonna hit OK, and then you're going to right click again, and you're going to hit Layer via Copy. And as you can see, it creates a new layer comprised of just your selection, and so you're gonna make sure this is highlighted, and you're going to head on over to Layer, and then you're gonna wanna go down to Layer Style, and click Outer Glow. As you can see, it's already saved my settings from the last time I did this on my example, uh, but you have a bunch of tools right here that you can use to kind of make the outline bigger or smaller, depending on what you want. You can adjust it so that it's quite literally a glow, or if you want, obviously you can have that solid line. You can also change the colors. Uh, so any color you want, red, blue, yellow, whatever you need, it's here, you've got it. You also have a bunch of other tools that you can check out over here under layer style, uh, but one of my favorites is Drop Shadow, and this can be used to kind of just add an extra layer of separation between your subject and the background. Once I'm happy with how this is looking, I'm just going to hit OK. There are a few more things that you can do to perfect the thumbnail, so I'm just going to click on my original image, and I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Exposure, and I'm going to lower the exposure to make my subjects stand out even more. All right, so since this is a tutorial about Photoshop, I'm obviously gonna want a little Photoshop logo in my thumbnail. So I'm just going to drag in an image of the logo and I'm going to position it where I like it. And then a cool little effect that you can do is you can select uh, the Photoshop logo and you can drag it behind your layer. And as you can see, it ends up behind my head, which is a nice subtle little detail. It looks really cool, and I like to use it whenever I can. I just noticed that the little lion on my shirt was selected, and I didn't notice that. So that's an example of the kind of thing that does occasionally happen with the Smart Select tool, and <laughs> they can be pretty hard to catch. So just, again, uh, watch out for that sort of thing, and don't let it happen to you. <laughs> and then, of course, we can just add some text to the thumbnail. So I'm just going to type out outline effect, and then I'm going to move it right here. And then as you can see, uh, the words effect kind of blend into uh, the white outline, which is not really what we want. So I can just go to layer style, and I like to do a drop shadow, and that separates the text from the background quite effectively. And there you go. All right. That's about it for today's tutorial. If you found it helpful, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. But in any case, thank you for watching, and goodbye.